All right, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna to make a quick video on how we actually load data into Salesforce using a tool called Workbench. Now, I have another video on exactly what Workbench is. In general, it's a tool that's used by developers to test queries and to test REST endpoints that they've built within their system, but it also has a really useful data loader tool that's really simple and works really well. So I wanna show you guys how you can do that using a CSV file, in other words, a spreadsheet, how you can put data into your Salesforce system quickly and easily. So without any further ado, let's just get started. All right, so as always, our first step is to go ahead and log into Salesforce. Now from my configuration, I'm actually gonna jump into my leads tab and I'm gonna look at all my leads. I wanna see how many I have. Looks like I have 33 leads in the system right now. Now obviously I wanna load some leads and let's say I have a CSV file like this where I have about six columns across the top, including those that are required, which would be uh, the last name of the company, and I have about 777 rows. Now I want to load that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up Workbench. Um, as I said, I have another video on Workbench, but I'm just going to log in with Salesforce. And from that tab at the top that says Data, I'm going to click Insert. Now I'm just going to select Lead as my object, and I'm going to select From File, and I'm going to choose that file that I just had open, my CSV file with all my data. So I'll click Next. And here's a critical part. This is where I need to map all of the fields. So I need to make sure that the columns within my CSV match up with the specific fields on the record. Now I need to make sure last name matches with last name, and I'm just confirming that the rest, it's gonna try and guess, and it did a pretty good job. So I've mapped those, I'll click map. I have a chance to confirm them. And then I'll go ahead and continue with the process. And here we go. So now it's going to attempt to insert, that is process all of the data that I've given to it, and put it directly into the Salesforce system. Now uh, I fast forwarded through this, it takes a few seconds, but as you can see there's no errors and it was completed. Now I can download a file that actually gives me the results uh, as a spreadsheet. So for each row that'll be one record that's been inserted, and if there's an error it'll give you the error message as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab one of these IDs, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to jump back into Salesforce and I'm gonna open it up. And surely enough, there's my record that was inserted. And as I can see, it was just inserted a few minutes ago uh, during that process. So I'm gonna go back to my leads tab. I'm gonna click on all leads and I'm just gonna see that my count has increased. And yep, sure enough, it looks like it's gone up to 810. And if I look at just the leads created today, I'll see that I have 777 leads. And these are all the leads that were inserted. I have all the various columns that I needed uh, that I had within my spreadsheet. And if I click on a specific lead, I can see that each field that I had exists there. So I have the phone number, um, I have the company, and I have the lead source, which was purchase list. So that's it. All right, so there we go. That's data loading with Workbench. Uh, I hope you found that useful. Uh, I hope it was as quick and as easy as you expected. Um, I know that I use this tool often just to make quick adjustments, also to download data occasionally. So if you're not familiar with it already, get familiar with this tool, utilize it. There are some other data loaders that have sort of a different or more graphical user interface that you might find easier if this one seems a little bit complex. But overall, I think it's really simple and I think this is a great option that's worth using uh, because it has no extra bells or whistles or added features um, that complicate the process. You just upload the data, you map the fields, and there it is. So anyways, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. I'll see you guys in the next one.